Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Masquerada Songs and Shadows. And we went through the customary sewer level, guys, and now we have infiltrated the Quiet Order. Now we need to find that glasssmith. So, uh, let's go ahead and get on the hunt. Kind of curious what opposition we'll find here. We're still dressed like one of the mask runners, though. Color coded? Green for produce, red for smithing, teal for leatherwork. And glassware? Yellow. Oh. That's handy. Yeah, there's a bunch of bunch of nasty gangs walking around here. Looks like our disguises are holding though. Ooh. The wards of Ombre. When the concept of wards had been introduced, they were received well by the population of Ombre. As the city grew, however, territory became scarce and the boundaries of the wards began pushing against each other. In modernity, wards are commonly fought over, sometimes through political maneuvering, other times through physical displays of aggression, with the victor claiming the contested ward as new territory. Mask Runners and the Media All right. There's the lore. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen a road going straight down like that before. Usually everything's been at an angle. Hmm. Can't go that way. Looks like some of the mask runners are speaking to the public, trying to get them on their side. Kitty! That area is blocked. Obviously, that's where the glasssmith is. Looks like our glasssmith's taken off. Hopefully, he left something for us to find. What are you thinking of? Orders, receipts, anything that might flesh out his connection with Raz. I'll keep an eye out. I found something. What is it? An order for half a hundred glass bell jars. Who signed it? Raz himself. His signature is... Hey! Hi! Fine day, fellas. Aren't you supposed to be... The gate! Damn. Too close. Indeed. We should hurry. The order he placed for the jars was supposed to be delivered to a house up that street. Okay, that was fortuitous. Looks like they're going to defend. And we will just head this way. There it Something must have happened at the gate. We should keep moving. Good call. Excuse me, guys. Nothing to see here. Just some mask runners running the opposite way that they're supposed to. Do 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 do. <laughs> And now I want to... nope. Okay. Marco? Polo? Marco, we're supposed to be... Oh, no. You're... Get them! Here they... Alrighty. So. Let's see. Ooh, we can get three of them, like so. Now we are set at... DPS, essentially. Water spout, atmos ring. Let's not do the atmos ring so far. Let's do a water spout to this one. We'll do a lightning blade to that one. And now we'll get everyone in the dervish. Oh yeah, I like that. Now make sure that we get everyone properly flanked and where they need to go. Yeah, go ahead and get some healing there. And I know, you're hurting. We'll get through it. What the? Oh, I didn't know you lived. I'm sorry, guy. What was we don't have time. Come on. I'm gonna have to get the hang of this. For a tank, he's kind of squishy. 
Quiet Order Warehouse. Ooh, that does not look tight. More searching, less cursing, Mariner. Yeah, lots of blood smears. So here lies our shipment. But what was he using them for? Oh, it had something to do with that Fay in his office, definitely. Other than that, though. These look bigger than the ones that we saw in Raz's office. Wounds, Bane. My mother's favorite. Oh? It's a natural disinfectant. She applied it a lot when I was a child. So, you're one of those kids. You don't want to hear the stories. This fights for a dozen a week. You and who? Well, mostly with... I don't know. People. I'm... Forget it. Aw, sad panda. And looks like a nice little... Stand in the middle and see if anything happens. Runes on the floor. Always a good decision. Shredded paper. They're all clean, too. Paper. Just like what the Fey were made of back in his office. There. I don't understand. The blood. Oh, is that what was used? There's blood elsewhere as well. Well, look at the pattern. That blood was dripped, not spattered or spilt like the rest. What are you saying? The offering. This blood here, in this circle, it was shed deliberately. The only question is, what for? Good old-fashioned dagger. What are you doing? You're a decent healer, aren't you, Mariner? I'd like to think so. What... Tides? What... You ruined your glove. Don't mend it yet. What are you testing, Inspettore? All right, Mariner. Now would be a good time. My palm, Mariner. Did we just... Heal me, Calden. <laughs> Thank you. Hold your... And we'll just... Hit him with a little bit of everything. Creating Fae. I actually like this. It's like controlling multiple characters in Warcraft. Ooh. These guys come back. That's interesting. Or no, they split into other pieces. Huh. That is quite interesting. And two skill points awarded. I can't believe it. We just summoned Faye. No one else in the entire city knows how to, do they? Tides, how did my brother even... It doesn't make sense. What? The blood. Too much spilt in too many directions. There was a fight. People. I'm not sure that... A fight in a place like this? Coincidence? Highly unlikely. There was a purpose behind this bloodshed. What? Unlikely to kill. To capture them. Incapacitate. You think someone's taken my brother? And left this place standing, blood dried, evidence strewn around. Why? Why would they do that? Oh dear. Smart. All right, Renia. We. You have a baby. Hi. Don't. Your child is wounded. Don't listen to him, Renia. The Mariner is a healer. It may not be too late. Please. Masquerine off. I'm not asking again. Olas, please. If he meant to kill us, we would not be standing. Answer my questions and the Mariner will tend to the child. Anything, please. When you claimed this ward, was there a man who owned this house? We saw the Herald leave here carrying a body. It's how I knew... thought it was empty. Was he alive? He was struggling when I saw it. Then they have him. Calden, tend to the child. Who is this Herald? Our leader, who speaks on behalf of the Lady. The Lady? 
She's lost much blood, but she will survive. Thank you. Lady bless you, thank you. Who is this lady? It's locked. Move aside. Portieri! Calden, cover their necks in the blood. What? Do it! Ugh. Get down. Oh, act like they're dead. I see. Inspettore. Senencia Vitris, sir. I see the old Cicero Gavar has not <clears throat> forgotten how to defend himself. We're fine. We were given orders to bring you to the Valencio, sir. I'll await you outside. At least that baby didn't cry. Gavar. Thank you. Whew. That was close. And no baby killing, which is best killing. Or, not baby kill- y you guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so, the Herald 2, the new batch. Still need to find out what happened to Lysandra Rorick, um, my brother's second in command. Yeah, she was there in the intro. I remember that. The lady. Kind of reminds me of The Black Company by Glenn Cook. I really hope it's not that lady, because we will get thrashed severely. Okay. I think... Oh, culture. Creating Fey. And... More gameplay mechanics, but... Meh. I think that might be everything. Yeah. Now, we do have some skill points remaining, so let's go ahead and take care of that first. Um, oh, this one doesn't even have a secondary piece to choose. What does it do? Reduce his skill cooldown by 5 seconds. Increase strike range by 15 meters. When Cicero changes stance, he gains 20% damage boost for 10 seconds. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Tempest. It's more of a tanky ability. Jill skill generates more threat than normal, but doesn't the dervish? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Let's not do a... Uh... I don't want to summon squirrels. It's just not how I want to live my life. Teleport to the target location, leaving behind three tornadoes that seek and deal four base damage per second. Eh, we could do that with Zephyr. Let's go ahead and... I, I really like Dervish. We'll upgrade that. And... Kaldin also has two. Probably Healiness. Or what was this one? Damage reduction by 10%, so we further make him a tank. And... Yeah, we'll just pump up his heals. There we go. Oh, we had new case notes too. That's what I wanted to look at. Okay. Investigating Timirius led us to a house in which Razatov had been conducting experiments. From what I've gathered, he'd learned how to summon Fey. There's a ritual of a sort involving the shedding of blood in the presence of sufficient loose material that they can shape themselves from. I suspect the mists that have been becoming more abundant in the city has something to do with it as well. How he came to be in possession of such knowledge, or what he even intends to do with all these fey, is beyond me. I do know, however, that Devedulus would be most interested in this information. There's yet to be anyone in the city that has claimed understanding of the birthing of fey. Perhaps while I visit them in the Conocenza, I can learn more about what Razatov had been searching for as well. Hopefully that'll lead me to understand what in all the legacies the Mask Runners could possibly want with him, in the house with his experiments. Cal and I ran into a family of Mask Runners who admitted that the Mask Runners captured Razatov. There's not enough information to work off of. The Mask Runners are a large faction, and infiltrating their ranks would take too long. Besides, I'm not welcome there in the least, and they'd likely choose to kill me 
over giving me the time of day. No, going to the Mask Runners is not an option. So later in the game it'll be an option. <laughs> Senencia, just a quick word. How did you get in? After you left, the Valencio ordered a couple of us to follow you. He knew you'd turn up something. Damn it, Tristan. There! Hi! How are you? We have upgraded abilities we need to uh, test out on you guys. Do you mind? There, get rid of that crossbowman. And more dervish. And go forward, meat shields. Stellar, do we have some buddies who will be tagging along with us now? I guess so. Let's get to moving. Now we're going to have to fight our way through all of this. Keep it going. I like the fact that he just uses his fists. Yeah, there's Bedlam all across the city here. I just use his ability, whatever that is. Ooh, now he's running. Nope, you keep that drum to yourself. Come on, sir. The Valencio's in the marketplace. Up. Alrighty. We'll go have some words with Tristan. I think he made our job a little bit harder, to tell you the truth. Oh lord. Alrighty. Oh. Boo. Here, we're gonna wipe out all the things. And he just tried to charge through, that's cool. And they just used a dervish. Oh, there's... He's... Oh, it switches the stances and everything. Even the computer does that. I need to be aware of that for fu for the future. Because that could be bad. Why are you dying? Oh, you are dead. Calden, Calden, Calden. Oh, he's got... That's the boss. All right, I see. Okay, skill points are awarded. Our tank is up. Huzzah. What to do now? Oh, I know what we're going to do with uh, Calden here. Damage reduction by 10%. Please suck less. He's a good character, though. No worries. Tactician... What are these? Gain more mask ultimate when mask charge is spent. Gains the dirge, passivere, and Cis or Cicero ways of mask charge re regeneration regardless of his current stance. Oh, that's kind of cool. Increase the strike range. That'll do, pig. Let's have some words with Tristan. Valencio. How are the other sections? Majority have returned successful. Minimal casualties. The Herald? No sign. However, we do expect to rest full control of the ward within the hour. You follow me without my consent. Senencia, you are dismissed. It is good to see you as well, Cicero. You used me. Cicero, please. I did not come back for this. Why do you think I didn't tell you? I am sorry. I truly am. But if I had asked you to help us find another way in, you wouldn't have. So you acted behind my back? Used me to kill my brother's people? They have killed so many of ours. This sends a message, Cicero. 
A message that could potentially end the war. At what cost? I am not made of stone. I have a heart. But it goes out to my kin and blood before their murderers. And if performing my duties requires me to step over your ideals, I am sorry. I know you see your brother in them. I understand how... You understand nothing. I was about to say. Senencia, get the Inspitori and his companion their attires, please. I know it may not mean much. But I am sorry. But you would do it again. Yes. Inspitori. <laughs> My clothes. I thought we were going to go behind that tree and change. I really like the claymore she was rocking out. We'll be here if you need us, sir. Thank you. Yeah, everything is grim. Lore. Which means that these pop up again in random locations, so... All the more reason that we need to keep on checking. Uh-huh. So these are the different classes training. Actually, I think I chose the right one because he's all about the... the one rapier, and the wind style seems to... favor him. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. Don't be. You're here to find your brother, not deal with my demons. If you ever need help... A generous offer, but... I knew what I was in for when I returned. Then why did you? <laughs> did you know Avestus promised me enough crescents to last a lifetime if I came back? So you're back for coin? Come on. We should speak with Kyrie. Hopefully she can tell us more about the Fae. The coin doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit of closure. Some good times. So what's the plan exactly? We need to find out what Razatov was doing with the Fae. If anyone could tell us more. It would be the head researcher of the registry. This is for you, sir. What is this? A set of uniform. The Verone wishes for you to change into them, then meet him in the reception hall. We've a room for your privacy just over there. <sighs> Dismissed. <sighs> just a moment. A uniform? Over here. What were you changing into? It fits. I hate it. Why? Well... Forget it. Now come on, Avestus. Listen, Cicero. I can see that this search for my brother has brought you to dark places. I hope you know I'm not doing this for you. I never thought you were. But I'd like to aid you where I can. Ah, we're on the same page then. You can start by not asking so many questions. Now, hurry along. Why do you hate it? <sighs> Please, Mariner. It's just a question. Because this symbolizes everything about me that my brother would disapprove of. And I am wearing it. Satisfied? Quiet. You'd better be. Now come along. I'm a fan of everything but the uh, Lego pirate ship pants. Those look like the sails on the old Lego pirate ships back in the day. More lures. There you go. Members of the registry. Yeah, I knew he'd be upset about Tristan, for sure. Just one of those things. And culture. And Inspectore's cape. Very Romeo and Juliet. And there's a lot of folks here. Who are you guys? 
So many portieri. Makes me uncomfortable. I hear that. And oh that oh I forgot what those are called. It's like it's a Chinese instrument, I believe. It's beautiful. It makes beautiful music. It's like a harp. Well, I guess we're going this way. The reception hall. Tragic circumstances, truly. Certainly. And it is the responsibility of the Samora to offer support where we can. And the registry is ever so grateful. And there he is. Judge Master, Barone. I apologize if I've interrupted something. Not at all, Inspettori. In fact, I was hoping to see you personally to deliver the news. Should I be frightened? <laughs> Inspettori, meet Tiziana de Felici, one of my finest marshals. Tiziana. The moment I heard you'd return, I understood that the White Spire must have been on hot coals. And the Judge Master was ever so generous to lend the Lucas strength to our cause. In what fashion? The Marshal will be assisting us in the investigation. You've told her about it? Of course. For the sake of our kin, we must set aside our differences, Cicero. But my words are wasted. I can see that you already understand. So the Sorelli is part of the investigation as well? I'm just here to- As Razatov's brother, of course. As I said, finding him is reason enough to overlook the schism between the Samora and the Registry. That is good to hear. I will admit that I am pleased, surprised, but pleased, that the pride many scorn the Registry for having has not clouded your judgment. And I say gratefully the same, that the fallacious arrogance of the Luca hasn't stopped you from stooping to assist us. Well, if that is all, I'd like a final word with my marshal before she joins you. It's a lot of shade. Take as much time as you need. It's very Game of Thrones. Fabio Fid... Where are you at? Samora's Crown. Hmm. The leader of the Luca Infinita. So we've got another kind of faction involved in the process. Outstanding. Alright guys, well, I think we will go ahead and end the episode here, and when we get back, we'll have another uncomfortable chat with um, our Tywin Lannister here. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.